Are you wondering if a Boston Terrier is an athletic dog breed? In this video, I'm going to be talking about my experience with Bella here of over 10 years, as well as talk to other Boston Terrier owners on whether or not they think their Boston is athletic. Be sure to stay till the end because I'm going to give you five tips on how to keep your Boston Terrier safe during workouts. Coming up. Hey everybody, welcome to the Boston Terrier Society YouTube channel. Be sure to hit like and subscribe if you're someone who wants to learn more about the breed, learn what it's like to be an owner, hear expert interviews, as well as connect with other Boston Terrier lovers just like yourself. I'm Donnie Gardner, the founder of BostonTerrierSociety.com. This is Bella, my Boston of over 10 years. And today we're gonna to be talking about whether or not this breed's athletic. This is especially important for someone like you who's thinking about getting a Boston and you're an active person. You wanna know if they can run, swim, jump, skateboard, things like that. The first thing that I did, I asked the Boston Terrier Society Twitter community to get their feeling on whether or not a Boston Terrier is athletic. Out of 140 votes, the overwhelming response was yes, their Boston Terrier is athletic. 90% of people said they were. And then I can tell you just from my personal experience with Bella, this is absolutely the case. But just know, every dog is a little different whenever it comes to their athletic ability. Now there are some activities that they do better at than others. So some of the top ones that I can think of is number one, running short distances, doing some sort of agility type training. Number two, swimming. Boston Terriers love to swim. Bella likes going to the lake. We haven't been there in a while, but she really enjoys getting out and swimming. She's a little timid at first, but then once she's there for a while, she'll go out like really far where it makes me nervous. Throwing a tennis ball is another great thing that Boston Terriers love to do. They're not necessarily throwing the ball, they're catching it. Number four is Frisbee. Boston's just like throwing a tennis ball. They're going to love going and playing and catch. And the last thing, it's really weird. I've seen on YouTube, Boston Terriers skateboarding. If you're into that kind of thing, they can do that as well. Hey, if you're enjoying this video, be sure to hit like and subscribe to this YouTube channel just so you can get the latest from Boston Terrier Society. So we know Boston Terriers are an athletic dog breed, but how much exercise do they actually need? They really only need 30 to 60 minutes of exercise daily. This can be done with a simple walk around the block, or you can make it as extensive as you would like. Just make sure it's enjoyable for your dog. If you've never had a dog before and you're kind of unsure about yourself, I say ease into exercise needs. You never want to do more than two hours at a time, especially if you're not doing any type of breaks. As mentioned earlier, as far as taking a Boston Terrier hiking, you can do that, but you want to build them up gradually as you go. If you're more experienced, that two hour mark can be as long as you want because you're going to know the signs of your Boston Terrier. Maybe it's overheating or just starting to act funny. You know, then you need to put your Boston Terrier in a safe place or seek medical attention if necessary. Here are my five tips to keep your Boston Terrier safe when working out. Tip number one is talk to your vet before you start any type of workout routine. What do I mean by workout routine? This could simply be taking your Boston for walks. They're going to know the health of your dog and maybe you haven't even taken your dog to this vet before. They're going to do an initial exam and they're going to be able to give you better workout tips and tricks just keeping your Boston safe while it's working out. Tip number two, start any new workout routine gradually. Probably don't want to start your puppy off with a really long walk, right? You want to build them up. Personal story, whenever Bella was really young, I don't remember the exact age, but Emily took her for a walk and she had to pick her up just because it was so hot and they went on a really far walk. You want to start gradually when working out, even for simple walks. Just like humans, you don't want to go to the gym and start working out for two hours at a time, right? You need to build up those muscles. Tip number three, bring water and a cup. There's special dog water bottles that you can buy on Amazon where you can fill up the little cup because there's been number of times where Emily and I went on walks and she's pouring the water into my hands because this is the only thing that Bella can drink out of, which is terribly inefficient. So you wanna just go ahead and spend the money on those special little water bottles for dogs or bring a simple measuring cup and that way you can dump the water in there. Little pro tip, we use those little collapsible measuring cups. Those are great for little water cups for your dog whenever you're going on a hike. Tip number four, avoid working out during the hottest part of the days. I live here in Kansas. We like to take Bella for walks. You know, their little paws, if they're on asphalt, can get burnt. So you just want to work out in the early morning and in the evening times. And tip number five, warm up before you actually start the workout. Now that Bella's older, she has some hip issues, so we can't just go out the door and start running, right? Well, we haven't done that in years. But what I'm saying is, just like humans, you need to warm up those muscles before you start doing any type of really extreme activities like sprints, so for Bella, if we're going to do any sort of sprints, we walk up 
to the school that we go play in. That gets her muscles all warmed up and loosened rather than her just sitting around the house all day. So then whenever we go and do the sprints, she doesn't pull anything. So those are my five tips to keep your Boston Terrier safe when doing workouts. Question of the day, what activities do you plan on doing whenever you get your Boston Terrier? Or if you have a Boston Terrier already, what activities do you do? Put them in the comments below. I'd love to see what you guys are coming up with. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to hit like and subscribe if you wanna learn more about Boston Terriers so you can get the latest from Boston Terrier Society. Otherwise, until next time, life is better with a Boston.